Greetings, Croptor here, Raid Shadow Legends, free to play, and to, uh, once again we are on the fourth free to play account, uh, which is experimental one. So I'm trying to uh, beat the game content using only four uh, champions. Uh, let's check, we got day nine, as I remember. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so let me uh, show you what I've been doing uh, for the last few days. So, mainly I was. Uh, running campaign and preparing food um so what we we already have five uh, five stars so yeah i'm ready to nominate someone to six star and it will be it will be outbound uh, for sure um, why is that uh, because of his kit and he's epic he's a good epic uh, from what i see um, his base stat is uh, pre also pretty good in terms of defense and HP. Uh, so this is uh, a 5 star form, so almost 900 defense. But if you take a look to the index, so here we can check in the 6 star uh, version. So almost 1300 uh, of defense, that's, that's a lot. Um, also good uh, HP, um, speed is not the great, but it is what it is. Uh, we also got Adeline. Uh, Adeline is very similar, she's much faster, good defense and good HP. Uh, but because it's harder to build uh, legendary, so I decided first to go with uh, um, Outbound, but not always, only because of that. So let's quickly take a look. So freeze on A1, that's fine, nothing amazing. Uh, here we got 100% uh, booked uh, decrease attack yeah, and decrease tour meter. This is very good. Um, yeah, and I would like to use that, so this will for sure uh, increase my survi survivability. Uh, he's already on free turn cooldown, so Buxa will give him only the, the chance, so he should more or less f work fine uh, without any books. And his A3 is uh, block active skills. Uh, if there is decreased attack, then uh, the, the chance is bigger. Um, and this is on 4 turn cooldown, so this is okay, but I think the most important is A2 from what I see now. But block active skill will also disable uh, some uh, enemies from using the, uh, their um, super skills, <laughs> let's say. Okay, um, so what uh, we'll be doing? Yeah, so let's go to the tavern and let's upgrade this guy. Um, yeah, so my other alternative was, uh, I was thinking about Sister Mission, but no, that's not a good idea. I think because uh, because of uh, her stats, so th they are very very low uh, in terms of uh, she's probably sacred order. So maybe let's quickly compare. Mm. So only 870 attack, and uh, her skill is based on attack, so very low, very small HP, low speed, maybe normal speed. So nothing amazing. Um, yeah, so that's not a good idea. So, so she will be okay at the beginning on the low levels, but later she will fall off very quickly. So she will be potentially uh, some crowd control um, set champion like stun or provoke. We'll see. Um, yeah, so let's upgrade this guy to six star. I'm not spending additional uh, potions to upgrade five stars. So this is experimental account. So we, we don't we don't care too much about efficiency. But there is uh, training ongoing champion training, so that's fine. Okay, so yeah, so let's upgrade him to six star and uh, fully um, upgrade. So he's already sixty. Uh, let's quickly check his stats now. How he looks now. Okay, so almost 40k of HP, um, some defense, <clears throat> 2200, uh, pretty good, very slow <laughs> because I don't have many uh, speed items in terms of boots. Yeah, 
Okay, so now let's test him a little bit. So first arena. So in arena I'm working on the force uh, upgrades here. Those two for spirit and magic was just for the challenges. So I will forget about this in the... I will not upgrade any, any further there. So most of the stat uh, upgrades will go to the force because that makes sense. And uh, one of the comments was that this is interesting because you can only focus on one thing, uh, do not spread your medals, so upgrade uh, a lot of heroes that you are using uh, very quickly. Um, this is interesting, so we'll see how it go, uh, will go in the future. Okay, let's jump to arena, so maybe let's pick one fight and see how this will work. So I'm using Adelina's uh, um, Aria, uh, uh, Aura. Mm, to add additional 60 accuracy, which is fine. Let's check. But it's interesting, most of the enemies here, uh, because of the yeah starter champions, they're trying to nuke this team, but because my whole team is the force, so the chance to weak hit is uh, huge, and generally they cannot do anything at my team. Um, yeah, so that was one of the example. What else we can try? So generally, Monkey King is dangerous, right? But because he's spirit, so let, let's try. Rest of them is uh, magic, so they will probably weak hit. That's the idea. Yeah, some weak hits. And of course, Monkey. Yes, oh, he's hitting okay. Not sure how long he will survive uh, so I'm trying to build his uh, him tanky so he also got I mean odd band um, chest plate and uh, gauntlets with uh, defense percentage yeah so this duo if I will build Adeline so they will be so tanky that they should be able to push a lot of uh, content in the game yeah this looks fine um yeah monkey king yeah so that's uh, what i'm doing so farming if i can find something to useful to farm so um let's take a look to the dungeons so in dungeons i managed to push a little bit dragon uh, so now i'm able to farm stage nine uh, I saw once uh, this team failed, so maybe let's try, maybe we can push to 10. So what I'm using, so Adeline uh, for the accuracy, odd band, uh, Mordecai um, for HP burn, increase attack, attack for the campaign farmer, so sister militant, and Odla Monk to put some poisons. Now I've got uh, setup here for the Monk to do not use poisons uh, until round three <coughs> so let's take a look how this will look now can we push or not yeah so she is hitting pretty hard at this level but it will be very hard to upgrade her because of the uh, limitation of uh, ascension which will be a pro problem, so we cannot add additional stats from Amulet and Banner. Okay, yeah, so five, six thousand damage. Yeah, so now Old Ban finally is doing some damage. Okay, decrease attack, very good. Put some poisons. And let's see. Last time I failed to uh, deal with Dragon on this level. Maybe good idea here will be build, to build my acolyte here to just clear those debuffs. That's a, lo a lot of debuffs. That's also a good idea. So heal from other line is very significant. So 25% of her HP. So if I will build her uh, with huge amount of HP, so she should be able to heal my whole team to full but we'll see okay so yeah that's still not enough still not enough i think i will need to bring uh, 
mm, debuff cleanser, right? I've got one where is he? Where is he? Mm, here. Okay, because I would like to farm Dragon a little bit uh, further, so I think now we need to invest in this guy and build him. <clears throat> so maybe let's take a look, so what will be the benefit for, from the another level. Yeah, so stage 10 is uh, 4 and 5 stars, so I would like to go to stage 13. So this will be perfect spot, because my team is 4s and here Dragon is uh, um, magic, so a lot of weak hits. So, But the, probably the biggest problem will be to pass through stage 11. If I will be somehow managed to, to pass through stage 11, so I can stop on stage 13 and try to farm stage 13. But probably I will need a few more um, 5 star or even 6 stars for that. But generally that, that's my, that's my uh, I think, target here. Hmm. To go to Dragon 13. Okay, so that's the plan here. In terms of Demon Lord, so I managed to clear it uh, in one key because now, as you see, quick battle is enabled. So let's run it and see how this time this will go. Yeah, 1.3, it means that uh, we are okay. So top chest is here, so easy is complete. Now I can work on uh, normal, which is good, very good. Okay, um, yeah, so probably now I will need to back and farm more food. So in terms of campaign, I managed to uh, reach uh, on normal stage uh, 12, which is okay. So now I think with uh, outbound and uh, other champs, I can push hard to some good stage and I'm thinking to reaching uh, here uh, Godfrey crossing uh, stage 3 will be good to farm I cannot farm stage uh, <laughs> uh, 12 3 which usually you are doing with your magic because uh, magic champions because uh, all of them they are spirit so uh, magic uh, is uh, strong against spirit yeah so I cannot do that because I'm forced here on this account. Yeah, so that... Do we have anything here? The shields, we got uh, force and void. So generally they are neutral. I could try uh, at some point. Try to farm this. Maybe let's give a go. Let's see. Uh, not this jump. So let's quickly put some food and check if I'm able to farm 11 free because uh, I haven't even tried. Just for, for curiosity. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so food is down. So now let's try to deal with those. Okay, looks good. So school crown is here. Yes, we need to wait one more turn. Yeah, this is also looks good. So I'm fine with far farming probably uh, stage 11 also. So stage 10 or 11, that's fine. I will, will need to skip uh, 12 free, but maybe we could try 12-6, right? Because I see a lot of um, magic. So let's try once again. Maybe this will also be good. But here we got this Lord Shazar, which is spirit. Okay, we got a little bit more spirit champs. Let's see, but at the uh, first stage of the combat, they are pretty weak. Whoa, that was close. Okay, yeah, so weak hitting, so that was close, and we don't have any life steal. Okay. And two and three, go. Ah, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, so affinity matters, right? Uh, a lot, so I cannot farm those, but only, only with 
if I could build her to six star, but yeah, that, that's not a good idea. Yeah, we need to think about this. Yeah, so the plan for the future is to, to upgrade more champs, so Acolyte um, to five star at least, uh, Outlaw Monk for sure, those two, and probably next six star, probably uh, Adeline. So now I'll be trying to build team for Dragon 13. Yeah, so that's the update uh, for today. So thank you. If you want to see more in the future, please comment. Yeah, uh, with some questions or the ideas. And see you on the next one. Cheers.